You're listening to Old School Movement, and this is a lockdown special. You understand? Hey! Yes, it's us again, those guys from the Old School Movement. Episode 3 of our lockdown special. We're keeping it on a musical vibe. You heard our hip-hop selection, but today we're going to tell you the music that our parents used to listen to in the 80s. And did we like it? The instruments that we would like to be on lockdown with. And of course, the soundtracks and the pop albums we would like to be with on lockdown. So have a listen and sit down, listen to the show. And don't forget, we've got the quiz! Now we're going to go into the zone of our music because, you know, compared to now, like you can just press a button and your music's there instantly. Yeah. You can, you, you know, you can press a button and see that video instantly. There's numerous video channels. There's this music everywhere, access available right now. But back in the 80s, you had to like, you know, tape something off the radio and just hold that down. And, you had to make sure you yeah. got your album ready, your records, your... You know, yeah, that was it, really, wasn't it? Your cassettes and your, and your maybe a record if you had a record player. Most of us were cassette decks. Yeah. So yeah. If you were going into lockdown, you'd have to make sure you got some selection ready because, yeah. like you say, it it weren't accessible. It weren't. You couldn't. Yeah. Just, you you wouldn't be able to pop out to our price. You know, <laughs> you, you, you'd be locked down, so you would need it. Yeah. You would need it at home. You'd have to have it ready. That's right. That's right, man. So, so where should we start, man? So music, man. So. Imagine you ain't got no music ready and you had to rely on what your parents listen to. Yeah. Like, would, would, would that be a bad thing for you guys or would you, did they listen to good music so it weren't a bad thing? I think for me it'd be all right. It'd be a lot of uh, Bob Marley. Um, uh, they're ready, Grant. Uh, electric Avenue. <laughs> we got a rock. No, don't. No, don't. No, 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 Yeah, you, you can, you can put up without a lockdown, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Is it, yeah. yeah. yeah well, true say, the bass is enough to get you excited. Anyway, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Chris, what... What tunes were your were your parents playing, Chris? Man, it could be it could be some of the classics like the Carpenters or or Abba. These are not like my classics. I'm just saying, like you know, the, the parent <laughs> classics, it's, it's the Carpenters, Abba. European like, classics. Yeah, even a, even a bit of Barry, bit, you know, they might be playing a bit Good of Barry. Man. That, that's Barry Manilow, yeah. yeah, not Barry White, man. That's Barry yeah. Manilow. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but so if it weren't if it weren't that on eight track playing in the background, you had eight track. Yeah, one of them big cartridge things. Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, then, Slam it in things, yeah. But I, I remember my mum; she used to like all them now classics. They come out in the eighties, in it now. That's yeah. what I call yeah. music one. Yeah. Now yeah. that's what I, you know, them ones. So yeah, they were always kicking about. So I whereas, remember. You, whereas you know, we were all into the hip hop and electro and whatever back in the day, early, early, early days. I could still hear them slide tunes that you wouldn't talk to your friends about. You know, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the Spandau Ballets and the Duran yeah. Duran. Well, so they would be on at home. So yeah. I'd get by with the now 80s, but oh, otherwise I'm stuck with Abba and, and, and Barry Manilow, man. <laughs> what do they, they call them ones? Guilty pleasures, that's it. <laughs> Guilty, <laughs> Guilty pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> the secret one. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Dee had some Kate Bush you. there in the background somewhere, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, yes. Hey, Kate Bush. Hey, I love Kate Bush. My parents didn't play Kate Bush. Them. My no, no. Soaker. It's just the soaker in the house. Great soaker. <laughs> Morning till <laughs> night. No. Yeah, just just calypso, man. So <laughs> you know that was a workout in itself. Just, just, so you know, there wouldn't be no Kate Bush for you, man. It'd be you know, that, it uh, on that, the radio. Yeah, yeah. That after after find Kate Bush from the slime, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Make my own little compilations tape. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. The parents were always playing soaker. Um, that's what I remember, man. Yeah, so damn, yeah, yeah. What our parents would play in the eighties, but you know, as as Chris was saying, with like the um, now compilations, pop music was always slightly around us because you had Top of the Pops, and you had Top of the Pops, and you had Top of the Pops, pops on yeah. TV. That's <laughs> we had the TV. <laughs> yeah, just the on old, old gray, uh, the old grey whistle test as well. That was yeah. yeah, but where would you find? I didn't know where that was. I that was know. a BBC I Two. That was late at night, wasn't it? It was yeah. late. That was yeah. late at night, so yeah. I never bumped into that. Total Pops was prime time, and you saw. Yeah, yeah we'd be watching spit an image on the other side or something. Yeah, like yeah, side. yeah. I'd never seen that, but um, so yeah, so pop was all around us, right? You know, you, you know, walk, you know, going to a calf, you know, walking down the street, hearing pop music all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, out of all the pop artists, if you could, if you had to take a pop album into isolation, 
what would it be? God, there's so many. There's so oh, many. You know. There is so many. For me, it could be like anything from, I've, I've got them 80s albums that, that mean something. Like there's an album from um, Sade, Stronger Than Pride. I think it was the, that album. That that was like an album that when I went away on a family holiday, it was one of them road trip holidays. That album sort of kept me sane for the journey, listening to it on my Sony Walkman for the, for the week or two weeks that. or away sort of thing. <laughs> so I hear that album now and it it, it, it reminisces of them of them yeah. holidays. Yeah, and, and the same with, time. I remember when I was, um, I used to be a Boy Scout back in the days. So I remember going on their two week annual camp, which I didn't like. It was two weeks away when mm. I knew my mates were doing other stuff back, mm. yeah. back home. But I, someone brought along them a Madonna album, True Blue album. Wasn't really yeah. into Madonna that that much. I knew her songs, but yeah. it was only hearing that album day in, day out for two weeks, every morning, every night. Yeah. It just became a soundtrack to part yeah. of that two weeks of my life. So yeah. again, these albums, so- I think, <laughs> These M2 albums mean quite a lot, but I think it has to be Thriller. It has to be a Michael, Michael wow. Jackson. Wow, yeah, yeah, big introductions yeah. for these two albums. <laughs> Michael Jackson just covered Blue the Man of Water. Exactly, that's it. That is it, man. From watching Thriller, from that first time, watching the video, hearing the song, you know, waiting for that album to come out, seeing the cover, you know, and, and then hearing Billie Jean and, and the rest of the tracks that were on it. It was, yeah. you know, that, that is, is the greatest album, pop album ever, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must yeah. have, you know, it's got to be in the record books or in my most, I would have thought most selling, yeah. most selling album. Yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah. right. How about you guys? It's just debunk the whole, the whole question with that answer. <laughs> 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 we all picking Thriller. Let's go and move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, man. What's your, what's your last one? I, I was going to say, um, going back to the now compilation, probably would have been a now compilation. Yeah. So you got but, a bit of everything. Yeah, but it had that to be was... the right year. It had to be the yeah, year that had like right Curiosity Killed Cat, Duran Duran, Colonel Abrahams, you know, I'm Drep, like all, all them tunes. It had yeah. to have like cameo. It had to be that year, maybe yeah. 87, 86. I was going to say 86. You know, I'm thinking 86 was a classic. I think I've got yeah. I, I, So I, somewhere I, around I, there. I, I, I was thinking a compilation, but and I thought, you know what? The, I can listen to Michael Jackson's thriller all day long, man. It's <laughs> it's just you can't help but sing to it. You can't help but try and dance to it. It's yeah. It's one of them yeah. ones I thought, you know, that that would keep me happy if I'm locked down. You know, yeah. if I had the movie to go with it as well, so you can watch the making of thriller and then watch yeah. the video of thriller as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah but it, it's, it's just gotta be the right year in the eighties for my compilation, man. That's what mm. I would have. A comp mm. a now pop compilation, man. <laughs> it, 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 it does depend like when this lockdown would, would occur in the 80s because for me there's two or three years of the 80s where all of my favourite sort of music come out and it's near the back end of the 80s so if it mm. started if it, if it was in the early 80s we probably would be in trouble man. I wouldn't well, know music what wise music wise I'll be picking Adam Ant and Shaking Stevens or something man <laughs> no, no, uh, the early 80s you still you can still get yeah. Stevie Wonder James yeah. Brown James you can get, Brown you can that's get what I'm going for yeah funk yeah. You can get some chic, you can get some, you can get some, you can get some disco, some, yeah. So, from the you, you'd be all right, you'd be, yeah, you get some dub, right. you get some dub, dub, dub reggae, it'd be, yeah. you'd be all right, you'd true, be all right. right. True, it's very true, you know what I mean. So, and so what Jackson, we were going on, no. pop, so you going a compilation, then you were going like, like now music, picking yeah. the right year, though. So, you got a selection of all of them great, yeah, that you love, yeah. yeah. Stacks, what were you saying? I, I think I might be with you on the on the MJ on the thriller, yeah, going thriller. If not, yeah, it's probably gonna be MJ. But she can, she can. James Brown are definitely a good, good call. Just, well, yeah. just yeah. yeah, equal. Yeah. I was picking like an album that came out in the eighties, but yeah, mm. thinking about all of the seventies music and before yeah. that, yeah, yeah. they would have been available. You know, mate. Mm, true. It's true. There, there, no. there is. Imagine this, isn't it? I've got a, a, a quite a good selection of sixties music that I like. That if we had to have a soundtrack. Mm. If we had to have an album soundtrack during like that lockdown, and yeah. there's one, there's one or two that I would pick, but one of them would definitely be Good Morning Vietnam, and that's all because of just the '60s tunes on there. I love them right. '60s tunes, man. Right, some right. of them would be relevant. Like there, there was a tune on there, uh, Martha Reeves, Nowhere to Run. That's, that's like oh yeah, yeah. Nowhere, to, no, nowhere to Run. <laughs> no run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can't um, even run. Get, run. get around, baby. Please don't go. And Wonderful World. There was just yeah. a few of the tunes on the soundtrack, but yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah I'd, 
that would be a good one to listen. Another yeah. one of them ones you can just listen to again and, and again and again over and over yeah. on them lazy so, days. If you then, had to take a soundtrack with you in isolation, that's what you would take. That's probably what I would take. But then I was thinking, if I'm down, I need something to motivate me. I need some Rocky Four. Yeah. So I'm stuck with Rocky Four. Is it, uh, do I need something motivational and get me hyped <laughs> and get me going and a montage to get me yeah. through? The day? <laughs> yeah. Or am I going to chill and relax and go Good Morning Vietnam? Adrian I'll Pryor. go with Rocky Four. You're going Rocky Four. Is that what you're, you're choosing, Rocky Four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say Rocky Four. I, I, I was cross between Rocky Four and, and the work of John Williams. I did think of John I thought I might go to sleep, though, with that, though. Cause yeah, you, but... The, you're listening yeah, to that, but, wicked. But, yeah, but I think Rocky Four soundtrack would be... Yeah, would be it's the one, soundtrack. isn't it? If you're Thank on lockdown, us. if you're yeah. on lockdown, then... Yeah, yeah that's, that's, there's no easy way too. out. Yeah, just <laughs> get your motivated for the day. Get your motivated. Oh. Yeah. You run up okay. The stairs. <laughs> 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 oh, do I go? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Steve? You got a soundtrack um, you're thinking of that you I would... don't actually, you know. Um, I don't. I don't listen to as much soundtracks. I don't pay attention to as much soundtracks as I should. So <laughs> I, I don't actually have a soundtrack at all. No, we're, we're saying two of us agreeing then. We're forgetting Good Morning, Good Morning Vietnam. We're saying Rocky Four. Rocky Four is montage. The stay music. at home soundtrack. It's stay at home soundtrack music. <laughs> stay yeah, at home I'll take into isolation. Yeah, he's definitely. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, got you know, your soundtracks, your music, your parents to listen to. But what device would you listen to all these tracks on? And you've got a choice of four. All right, so would it be on your Walkman, like your stereo, you know, um, your hi fi, steer, stereo stack system, your, your, um, your boom box, or on a turntable? It definitely wouldn't be on my parents' eight track system. So, <laughs> back in them days, if it was early 90s, it'd definitely be a boom box ghetto blaster, maybe not a big one, but. Depending when in the eighties it was, but I'd like to say if if it if I had the equipment I had, mm. and I and you know we were on lockdown, I was listening to it. It would be a, it would be a huge stack system. Yeah. Just just watching the the you know playing with the graphic, watching the spectrum yeah. analyzer, that yeah. that yeah. was enough on its own just to sit there. That's enough at the table for a while. <laughs> putting yeah. the bass right up, the centers down, you know, a bit of treble and turning yeah. it up, and then like stacks were saying, watching them speakers, man, watching them cones watching just, them. just yeah. pump away. Bounce. Like, yeah, it, <laughs> for me, it's got to be the big stack. A Kenwood, a Technics, whatever you got, a bit of a mismatch one, whatever you got. We've yeah. got the amp, the twin decks, a radio so you can pick up some pirates. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't worry about the turntables. Records weren't, weren't, you know, weren't big for me back then. It was I was better with cassettes, so. Yeah, so yeah, Definitely the stack, stack. system. Stack. <laughs> I would have loved to say that the stack system was the way I'd go, but I would I'd get too many complaints because it's always it was always on loud. You know what it was like, the, yeah, 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 loud. Yeah, <laughs> I'd go with the Walkman because like Keep once I got through. that, once I got one of them, that was it. Because it's going to your zone, isn't it? It's going yeah. to your zone. Just okay. listen to anything as loud as you want. You're not bothering anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you've got enough batteries. As long as yeah, in it, and the tape doesn't get chewed up. Yeah. I would probably choose the same. I'd probably choose a Walkman, you know. You guys go Walkman. Because, yeah, it's good to have the stereo system and that, but you can't move around. You can't lay on your bed and listen to it. Yeah, and... You are tied down to one area. You're right. Mm, that, yeah. that system's in the front room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's either in your bedroom or in the front room. You're, you're tied down to eight. No, the stack system ain't in your bedroom, man. That is not, not, in, not in the 80s. It's in <laughs> <the> front room. <laughs> <laughs> The is in the front room. The though. family one is. You might that, that, that's the community. That's the community one. I didn't have no community. Yeah, I tried really to communal. <laughs> communal no, no personal stack communal system in my one. house, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's one on one only. I was thinking about it. This question. I was thinking, a turntables would have been good mm. if we're in isolation. But then you could yeah. learn how to DJ. Mm. You know, yeah. you've got all these tunes that we mentioned. Just start mixing them and stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go for turntable. Learn to scratch. Learn how to scratch and mix. Yeah. Music in general. If if you guys can, any of you guys play an instrument? Any of you guys play anything musical that's not really? I'm going to say electronic because it can be electronic, but not. You no, know, not like I a mean, turntable. Like a little bit, a little bit of piano, little bit, little very bit small piano. amounts, very small amounts mm. of guitar. I can play enough to get what I want. That's quite. Was, that's quite cool. I was good at the maracas. Don't you remember at school? Yeah. I used to grab for the maracas. Did it. 
<laughs> you just reminded me. I was all right with that little. Remember that little symbol you used to hold up and like. Ding. Uh, I was yeah, too bad with that at school. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was all right with that. <laughs> so if, you, if you guys could learn something, if you like, you're stuck in. Someone says to you, you can have any instrument in the world apart from like the decks or whatever we were just speaking about. Any other instrument you can take and just keep practicing for whatever lockdown weeks you're you're, you're in for. What would you take? What instrument would you guys have? Drums, straight off the bat. Big full set of drums, big yeah, rock mate. band set of drums. Straight off. <laughs> you need some headphones to plug them into though. Nah, well, I suppose so. I mean, like if it's like, you know, <laughs> if, we're any, if, we, if I'm in my own yard and it's my place, and I've got a drum kit, then yeah, then I'd love to learn drums. If it was my parents' house, it'd probably have to be piano. Or like, in a little, one of them little keyboards, you know, little Casio keyboards. Yeah. yeah. Plug the headphones in and learn off that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I've always that's, that's, what, that's exactly what I would pick stacks. I've, I've always wanted to learn the piano. The, my extent of learning the piano is like the little chord out of Star Wars. That's about all I know. Uh, yeah. I can't play anything else on it. But I would like, <laughs> Rather than the piano, I I was fascinated by like synthesizers, like keyboard mm. synthesizers. When they come out, mm. the noises and things yeah. I heard come out of them. I'd love to be able to play one because you're learning yeah. the piano sort of as well, isn't you? Not yeah. on a smaller scale, but you've got yeah. all of these other noises and little sampler things you can do. And Very that true. I think one of them keyboard samplers would be the, the thing for me. I'd definitely a synthesizer or whatever you yeah. call them. I'd like to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's so there's so many there's so many instruments that would be amazing to, to learn how to play and as you guys are saying for me it was a cross between piano drums and um bass guitar bass guitar is mm-hmm. a bass guitar. good one uh, yeah um you know and i and i think i, I don't know I, I think that seems really think, easy to play the bass guitar i don't know why i'm sure yeah. it ain't but it does yeah, look uh, really easy um, <laughs> but i think it'll be the drums just for the pure adrenaline and mm being at the drum and, and drum energetic. patterns but yeah energetic as well you know you are I picturing don't... animal from the muppets in your head right now. yeah and yeah, I, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you think about it <laughs> like, if you had you had your public enemy playing and yeah. you're playing you can, yeah. drums along yeah. to that that's funky nice. drama yeah you know yeah, yeah. 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 you're yourself in lockdown and all, all, yeah. all of the hip hop that I love, it is that it's that drum beat. It's exactly. that you know once yeah. you've learned that, it's yeah. yeah, drums is a good is a good one, man. It's I, a good, I, I definitely like the futuristic synthesizer noises going back from the early eighties electro right mm. up to modern nineties two thousand house music. You know that mm. the keyboards made made songs amazing for me, man. But yeah. I think yeah. yeah, once you've learned a drum beat, yeah, it, you can drum yeah. along to anything really, can't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you, you, you're still on keyboard then, Chris? That's what I'm you're on going keyboard, for. but if you two are going drums, then drums wins it really <laughs> two to one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, 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 I'm you happy can, with, I'm you happy with a set keyboard, of drums. Man. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> nah, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll go for drums, man. Yeah, no, I'll take my keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> I, can plug, I can be quiet. I can plug my headphones in. No one can, can hear me play. <laughs> drums is like a whole lot of noise. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So, so yeah, so we, you know, turn it up. Gone, we've gone through our musical tastes while in isolation, but now it's that time again. It's time for the Lockdown 80s game show. Where's that thing, Drew? So, we're into show three, and we've got our third lockdown quiz, and we've got another contestant. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Hey, it's Jay Green. Yo. Hey, Jay. You okay? Hey, Jay. I'm all right. I'm all right. And where? Right. And where are you? Where are you residing? London, London Town, okay. South London. Okay. South, okay. South, 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 South of the River. Okay. So, so what have you been up to in in lockdown? Well, just trying to stay sane, really. Obviously, yeah. working from yeah. home, juggling motherhood. Um, still recording music, releasing music. Oh, music. Um, what kind of music do you do, Jay? Um, all kind of, all types of experimental. I've got like hip hop, I've got R&B, I've got house. Have you got anything out that we can listen to at the moment? Is there anything going on at the moment? Have you recorded anything? Yeah, my last release was Cake, which I released, I think, two weeks ago. Um, okay. And that's out on all platforms, Spotify, blah, 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 blah. Oh, um, wow, that's okay. Facebook, YouTube, just Google me, man. Cool. Jay Green. Cool. Nice. A-I-E-E. 
Okay, so with this being the, the lockdown episode, uh, we've been talking about um, various things, musical things in our podcast. And I'd like okay. to know, if, if you were on lockdown and you had to take one instrument to learn while in lockdown, what instrument would that be? Oh, mine would be a harp. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. I try guitar. I love strings. I love strings. Like strings and piano acoustic is my favorite, but strings is my favorite when played well. Of and um, but yeah, I think I've tried with a guitar and it didn't stick. So right. harp. If I didn't get it, I think I'd still have a lot of fun just going. Bring, bring, bring. <laughs> <laughs> All them eloquent sounds. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I'm sure I'd find a really nice composition with it, even without any like knowledge <laughs> <laughs> so are you yeah. ready to play the game jade oh god go on then okay <laughs> so <laughs> the rules are simple you got old enough go on. to answer as much questions on the 80s in 60 seconds yeah 60 seconds yeah, yeah. Goes oh my that. god if, if you don't know the answer just pass Say pass, okay. and I'll take your first ask, answer only, yeah? Oh, uh, what if I get none? Okay, go on. Oh, come on. Okay. Dax, you ready? Yeah, man. Three, two, one, go. What arcade game features the Thai boxing villain, Sagat? Street Fighter. Complete the title. The Lion, the Witch, and the... Wardrobe. What animal features on a slush puppy cup? Puppy. What are Mojo's, Flying Saucers, and Fizzy Fangs? They're sweets. What is a Betamax recorder? A, a, a video player. How many video. beef patties are in a Big Mac? Two. In sport, who won the Football League's first division in 1989 at Anfield? Pass. How many members were there in rap group Run DMC? Three. What colour is Marty McFly's body warmer in Back to the Future? Red. Ah, black, red. Okay, black. okay, 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 okay. Okay, Jade, how are you feeling? I don't know. Why did you have to put sport in there? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Okay, Jade. It's a shame that was in there. You played the game, you played the game, and you got a score of, tell it, Chris. Eight out of nine. Jade, you got eight out of nine. That's really Just that's good. good. That's really good. That is good. That's, that's really. really good, Jade. And you doubted yourself. You're, you're joint top. You're joint, joint, top. joint top of the lead. Yeah. Joint, joint what are you top saying? I, I made it to the semi-finals, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you're just, <laughs> you might have to split the prize in two. Exactly. So Chris, tell Jade what she got wrong. It was, it was just question seven. It was the sport one. In sport, who won the Football League's first division in 1989 at Anfield? The answer was Liverpool. Arsenal. It was Arsenal. Arsenal were playing Liverpool. Liverpool yeah, were playing that cool. right after I was winning, say the Liverpool. F, winning the FA Cup. They just literally won the FA Cup and they ended up losing 2-0. But that was 18 years Arsenal had waited to win that title. So. Wow. Yeah. I'm that a Gunners fan day. as well. So I yeah, exactly. That. that was an amazing <laughs> day for that. football. That, 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 that was really out, good, Jay. Outstanding score. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Round of Jay, indeed. Thank, Take a bow. Thank, thank you for taking part. All the no best. Worries. Stay safe. Thank and you, you, babe. Bye. Keep up good work. Thanks, Bye. Another end to a great episode of our lockdown shows. We out.